Right, ladies and gentlemen, a rather scarce book, a great sort of meaty, solid um, library bound uh, 1863 book. Uh, there we are, Wigan Free Library, rather splendid um, book uh, plate and an inscription here given to the library by, um, where are we, presented the Wigan Mechanics Institute by Henry uh, Rhodes Esquire, whatever. Um, and there we are, 1860s book, 1863, The Tropical World, A Natural History of the Animal and Vegetable Kingdoms in the Equatorial Regions by G. Hartwig, London, 1863. Though the book has, you know, had shelfware, some of the pages are grubby, it's been a library book, but it's a wonderful stout old Victorian library binding. Um, one thing I will say, it originally had, I think, um, six, um, sorry, eight, I think, plates of what are called chromo-xylographs. Now, they haven't been ripped out or torn out, but only one of them is still surviving in this strangely oxidized condition, uh, virtually unsort of legible. And I suspect that the others may have been removed before the book was bound and this one was missed because they were strangely oxidized. They, they are not in place. They haven't been... Um, torn out and they haven't been cut out. The seven of the eight plates are missing, but there are many, many wonderful illustrations like this. Um, there are chapters on the antiquity of trees, the dragon tree, mangrove swamps and how they grow, insect plagues, vegetable life, nights in the tropics, the forests of tropical America, it goes on and on, the Sahara and its limits, the Spanish conquest of South America, animals in Peru, the llama, all sorts of things. You see things flashing by, great illustrations, uh, poison creatures, creepy crawlies, tetsy flies, and so on. Very long index. The book is 560, 70 pages long, and there are many, many woodcuts in it, as you can see as I flash through. It's a, it's a, a popular but scholarly and readable book about the tropics, published fairly early on in 1863. Okay, it's um, a sought-after book. Uh, I've looked up on the internet. The copies I found, the first four copies I found uh, in varying conditions, some of them not great, are priced, uh, you see there's a mark on the page there, but it, it happens, um, uh, are priced at um, 58, 95, 105, and 145 pounds. It's that kind of book. My starting price is a lot less than that than you'll see for this book on Tropical Africa, 1863. Thanks very much. Bye.